this is brilliant! Oh my god! What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. So patch 247 has just been released and with it we have two new awesome dinos to take a look at. We have the Tape Jara and the Archaeopteryx. At least I think it's called the Tape Jara, unless it's Tappy Jara. I'm just going to call it the Tape Jara because that's how Google Translate likes to say it. But anyway guys, we're just going to jump straight into this video. Okay guys, so I've just tamed up the Tape Jara here. I have force tamed this guy and I have fitted a saddle on him so he was all ready to go. I did skill him completely in movement speed. There really isn't much point in doing melee damage. It only goes up by about 3% and health goes up about 40 or 50 uh, which really isn't too good but you know a decent amount of health will do and then I skill loads of movement speed because obviously that's what flyers are used for. So the Tape Jarrah is a very, very unique dinosaur and very, very maneuverable. It can go in pretty much every direction. It can fly backwards, fly forwards, fly left, fly right, and you can press C to go down and X to fly up, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, same as with the Pterodon and the Agentivus, right click to grab things. Um, its attack is sort of just a little peck. It doesn't have any sort of special attack. There is no way of making it attack any different way that is the only way there is now the good thing about this guy is he can actually latch on to walls and trees and stuff so for an example if i press space when standing while well, flying next to this cliff as you can see i have latched on now this dino is really really cool and if any of you've seen the avatar films you will notice that this guy kind of looks similar to those uh I don't know what they are, they're like dragons, not dragons, but they're sort of the alien type birds that are on the film. They do look kind of similar to this guy, the way they're latched onto these buildings and different terrain, as well as the shape of its head, which is pretty cool. The only downside is that I wish it would have a sort of a special attack where it could use its head as like a giant blade and cut people, that would be really cool. But yeah, so taking a look at the saddle. And this guy has a three-man saddle. It has the guy in the center who is flying the dino. Then you have a gunner seat on the front and back. Now, just bear in mind, if you are a gunner on this guy and you have a rocket launcher, you have to be very, very careful because the wings are actually quite big. And if you accidentally misplace where you're aiming that rocket launcher, there is a chance you're going to kill everybody on board and probably kill the tape jar as well. So do bear that in mind. With any other weapon, like just machine guns or anything like that, same applies really. Be careful where you're aiming, but obviously they don't do as much damage and they won't do like a massive cluster of damage like a rocket would, killing all the people on board. Now I do want to quickly point out that this guy can actually regen stamina whilst sitting on the edge of a rock. Now many of you may be thinking that this is overpowered, but it really isn't. Just look at the speed that the stamina goes up, it really isn't much at all and I guess this technique here for getting stamina is only sort of used for when you're trying to escape enemies or there's a threat nearby and you just want to get yourself to safety and without actually falling off so yeah, obviously the stamina is going to go up because if the stamina didn't go up then you would just collapse off the cliff and that wouldn't really be fun at all and people complain and rage on the forums and you know what I'm kind of getting at here but if you do land the stamina does go up by a considerable amount it's going up by quite a lot it's going up so fast I can't really count it's about 30 or 40 a time which is a lot quicker than five every second what it was doing up on that cliff now just before I move on to the next dino I will quickly show you the costs of this saddle it is really cheap and affordable to get it only costs 260 hide 180 fiber, 120 wood and 45 metal ingots and that is really cheap considering the saddle is a 3 player saddle. Ok guys so that is the tape jara or the tappy jara, I'm going to call it the tape jara because that's what google translate calls it. If you sort of like this creature and you think it's a good addition to the game do leave a like on the video it does show you support and I really do appreciate it but now we're going to be going to take a look at the new Archaeopteryx. Alright guys, we are here with the Archaeopteryx, this is an amazing dino, just look at it, just look at its smile, it's just so happy to be here today. Uh, this is just such an amazing dino, it is literally a parachute, you can just fly around with this guy and 
You don't even need a bird anymore. You can just... Oh, it's just so cool. Oh, this dino is truly one of a kind. And I love how they've added it into the game. So I did pick it up. And I don't know how you get it off. I think it's... This should... Oh. Okay, so we can look in its inventory. I did force tame this one and spawn it in because I couldn't find any around. And I want to do this quickly, obviously, to jump into all this new stuff as quick as I can. So this guy's only level 16. He has 200 health. Weight is pretty damn rubbish. Melee damage is pretty bad. And stamina is alright. So all these stats here are pretty much useless. You only really want to focus on the health and stamina. As this guy is going to be used as only a form of transport i can't see this guy being able to attack anything now i don't know how to get him off oh okay left click left click i threw him so this is what this little guy looks like really cool he's got a really happy face really nicely animated i love that that's probably like the nicest looking dinosaur i've seen the, the only dinosaur that isn't really ugly in this game is the archaeopteryx so for those of you who wish to spawn in this little guy on a single player world or a server take a look at him the code for spawning him in is down at the bottom left it is cheat summon arca underscore character underscore bp underscore c and then underscore again so the whole point in this guy is just for a form of transport really he is really cool and i do really love this guy so i'm gonna pick him up again because it's just so funny like you just hold him above your head and i don't know how long you can fly for because if I jump up here, I just keep going, and keep going, and I keep going, and I just keep going, and it doesn't go down, I just keep seem, seeming to go in like, sort of a straight line, there, it, there's no dip, there's no, you don't start to lower at all, and it doesn't show the dino's hell, uh, stamina, so I don't know what's going on, maybe I have to left click to kind of drop, but depending on how high I am, I guess that would kill me. What does right click do? Okay, so left click is to drop him. We need to find out the controls for this guy. Or girl, or whatever gender it is. <coughs> oh, it's just brilliant. I love this guy. One of the best dinos. And oh my god, there's a gigger. There's a gigger. Right, let's not go over there. We do not want to go over there. Yeah, I, keep just, I just keep flying, and it's just amazing. I'm going to see if I can fly this guy as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm flying on a bird. And holding a bird at the exact same time. Can I... No, I can't really get rid of this guy that I'm holding. Maybe if I... Let me sort of test this out. Let's not get too high, because I don't want to die. I am um, just stop about here. Whoa. And let's jump off. So my tape jar is down there. I wanna know how I wanna figure out how to make this guy descend. Maybe look down and press W. I seem to just hover. Right, okay, so I've sort of worked out how this guy works, or girl. Oh god, that wreck is getting close. <laughs> Basically, there seems to be some sort of like time limit, or let's just say stamina. Um, once I jump up here and glide, I can glide around for about 30 seconds, roughly or so, before it starts to descend. So I kind of get more than enough time to glide across a flat distance. So if I were to jump off a cliff, I could kind of... Fly straight for 30 seconds and then it would start to descend and then obviously when I'm low to the ground I would left click and the Rex has spotted me and now I'm really really scared and I need to get away. And there's my tape jara. Tape jara! Oh dear. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Go! Oh! That was close. Let's see if I can land on here and just watch him. Oh my god. What does this look like? Ah, Savinia! <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. I just love it. This is great. This is one of my favorite updates so far because 
You get two little birds that have new and added into the game. The tape jar really is one of a kind and a overall good sort of battle mount. Transport is pretty decent. It's not really good for attacking, but it's more of a, a tribe sort of battle mount. You need gunners and stuff like that. So the tape jar is pretty damn awesome. And the Archaeopteryx is my favorite in this update. I do love this little girl. She is one of a kind and she is definitely going to be tamed on my uh, series on the Pooptopia server. So I'm definitely going to be taming her up pretty damn soon. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. I just want to thank you all so much for watching as I slowly drift away. No, come back. Yeah, so guys, I just want to thank you all yet again for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, Please leave a like, please do show your support, I really do appreciate it. Guys, I just want you all to go out onto this new update and have so much fun, it really is a good update. Also, if you're new to the channel and you wish to see more Ark Survival Evolved content, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.